Hi, my name's Stephen Kenyon and I'm a teacher and learning consultant in primary English and history for Lancashire LPDS. Today, I'm just going to lead you through a little vlog called Singing to Help Learning Stick. Um, and so we're going to look at some really exciting, fun strategies uh, you can use with children in the primary classroom to help them remember some tricky bits of grammar. Now, today we're going to focus on prepositions and homophones. OK, we're going to start with the homophones there, there and there, because actually those three words there, there and there um, are often spelt incorrectly. Children often choose the incorrect homophone. And we know actually that it's one of Ofsted's pet peeves and they've ranked it really high on the things that they always see used incorrectly and spelt incorrectly in schools. So let's get this right. OK, so I'm going to introduce you to a little song um, that I always used in school and just talk you through some fun ways of introducing this song with children. So the song is actually from a CD called Beat It, Music to Accelerate Learning by Philip Davis. Now, unfortunately, this particular one's no longer available, but actually you only need to type their, their, their song into YouTube and other songs and fun activities will pop up. So this isn't about that particular song, it's more about creative strategies to help children uh, with their learning and to help it stick. So we can see from this slide here um, that homophones crop up time and time again. So in year two, children are learning to spell correctly and distinguish between homophones and near homophones. And right the way through into year six, they're still having to distinguish between homophones and other words that are often confused. So let's get into this song, There, There, There by Philip Davis. So here are the lyrics and I'm just going to go through some ways to actually teach this song and one thing that I think is really important is actions and learning some fun actions to teach the song and I would always encourage you to involve children where possible uh, in creating those actions and designing this themselves. Okay so um, let's think about the first line of the song there 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 three ways to spell and the first thing that we came up with as a class was the word spell itself um, can mean more than one thing. So it can mean spell as in spelling, but also it can include spooky spell that a witch might cast upon someone. So, and we thought the song sounded a bit spooky. So our first line was there, 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 three ways to spell. So this is what we used to do. We used to go like this. There, 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 three ways to spell. There, there, there. Three ways to spell. So you can be as spooky as you want with the children. The next slide of the song is T-H-E-R-E, -E, like look over there. So this is what we used to do. And we used to go T-H-E-R-E, -E, like look over there. Brilliant, let's do that again. T-H-E-R-E, -E, like look over there. And then we go into the next slide, T-H-E-I-R, it's belonging to them. So they felt like they could give themselves a hug. And we decided we'll be like little robots and we'd do this. T-H-E-I-R, it's belonging to them. Okay, brilliant. So the next line was the children's absolute favorite bit. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, they're dancing in the street and going crazy. So obviously it gave the children a chance to dance and go crazy. So we used to do it a bit like this. So we would go T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, they're dancing in the street and going crazy. And obviously children doing that in classroom, 30 of them, just imagine lots of fun. They look much cuter than I do, they look very funny. Okay, brilliant. So that's some of the actions that we used to do to the songs. We're gonna put that together with Philip Davis's track and have a little sing together now. There, 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 three ways to spell. There, 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 three ways to spell. T-H-E-R-E, -E, like look over there. T-H-E-I-R, it's belonging to them. A T A T Y apostrophe R E. They're dancing in the streets and going crazy.
Okay, well done if you joined in. Brilliant. And obviously the song is lots of fun. Um, and it's even better when there's a classroom of children singing and dancing and enjoying it. So obviously we can learn the song and that's part of it. So hopefully they'll remember that T-H-E-R-E -E is about somewhere over there and T-H-E-I-R is to do with belonging, etc. But actually, um, how can we take this a little bit further? How can we develop the children's learning that a little bit more? So what I used to do when we finished singing the song and learning the song, and obviously it's a great little brain break, get up, get up in between lessons, have a little sing, have a little dance. Um, what I used to do was um, I would read them a sentence like, there's a little fox over there. And they have to, have to write down on their whiteboards the correct spelling of there. Or I might say, ah, oh, the infants have just gone for their lunch and they have to write down the correct spelling of there. So there's that where you can use the whiteboards and they can and they can listen carefully. Well, which spelling fits that context? The other one is I might give them the spelling T H E Y apostrophe R E and put that on the board. But I want you to write a sentence including that word, or maybe even do some kind of dictation of a few sentences including the three different um, versions of there or the three different homophones. So lots of different ways that you can have a go at using that song or any song like it, just to engage the children into some sticky singing in class. OK, so the next song I'm going to have a look at um, helps us learn prepositions. And this particular song is by the Brazilians and Brazilians are brilliant. They've got lots of videos on YouTube. You can buy their DVDs and CDs. And I uh, emailed um, Adam Marshall from the Brazilians and asked them for permission to play the next song for you or part of it anyway. And Adam got straight back to me. He was really enthusiastic about it and really happy for me to use the song in this vlog. So I hope you enjoy it and consider checking out the Brazilians because they've got lots of fantastic songs and videos um, online. So here we can see um, the Brazilians website at www.thebrazilians.com. Today, like I said, we're going to focus on their song about prepositions um, and learn how to identify, select, generate and effectively use prepositions. OK, so we're going to listen to this song now. Preposition It's your ambition to tell me, tell me, tell me exactly my position. I could be on the couch or outside my house. Am I across the street or within your reach? I could go up the stairs or fall off my chair. So it's an absolutely brilliant song and we could learn the song line by line and put actions to it couldn't it, to help reinforce those prepositions i could be on my couch or outside my house and my cross the street or within your reach etc so we can just put some actions together and get up dance about um, and entertain the children okay but we could take it a little bit further so once they've innovated the song and if you listen to the whole song there are so many prepositions that the children get introduced to, it's brilliant. But once they've learned the whole song and started to innovate it, we can actually use the song, not just in English, but in other subjects as well. OK. OK, so let's have a look at a way of using um, prepositions or practicing prepositions outside of the English lesson. So in Lower Key Stage 2, um, we may be focusing on habitats and science and thinking about mini beasts. So we can grab our best detecting kit and head out into the woods or the garden or the school grounds. We could search for creepy crawlies among leaf litter and under logs and stones. We might spot some mini beasts flying through the air. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled. And some mini beasts prefer to hide inside dark, damp hiding places 
whilst others prefer sunshine and lush leaves. So here we are using prepositions in science and heading out, maybe with our little nature detective card, but on a mini beast hunt. And we're thinking about where are we going to find them? So actually what we can do then once we've um, had our mini beast hunt, and that itself could be um, a little independent writing opportunity, we can move into um, the main thrust of this. And that is another short writing opportunity where we can innovate songs. So I'm going to have a go at innovating the preposition song. So we've got the chorus there, which can stay the same. And then the children have a go at writing their own verse. So where could they find the mini beasts? So what I've done is I've thought about the rhythm of the song and the syllables uh, involved in the song and how it scans. So we've got I could followed by four syllables. I could da 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 or da da da. Am I da 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 da? So that's the verse. They're the kind of syllables we need. So we have a go with the children discussing where they found the mini bees and start creating the song. And then we could write a verse. Um, together and do a scaffolded short write and then the children could have a go at an independent short write creating their own verse so it could end up something like this i could be on a lark or under a leaf am i flying high soaring through the sky preposition it's your ambition etc so you can see how we could turn this song by the Brazilians into our own little song and I think it's really exciting for children when they don't just sing songs but they innovate them and become songwriters themselves and it's very special when children are with you in class and they're actually singing their own songs full of their own learning uh, whether that's prepositions or homophones. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped to see how singing can be a really brilliant way of introducing sticky learning into English and across the curriculum and it will help us with our grammar, with our homophones and our prepositions. So happy singing and if you do record any songs with your class or they, they do become little songwriters, we'd love to see um, the outcome. So please get in touch and take care. <laughs>